Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I would like to welcome you to this course, which is called Non-Fictional Prose. This is the second reading course in the um, curriculum in the English language program. So uh, let me first congratulate you for passing the first reading course, which was Reading 1, and I hope uh, that course will help you to um, improve your reading skills and to be able to understand this advanced course. Non-fictional prose is uh, a more advanced course. We are going to study um, more um, advanced skills and strategies which will help us to read uh, in English very well, uh, to help us comprehend the English texts when we meet them. Uh, so let's give some introduction or orientation for this course. Uh, today I'm going to introduce the course and then uh, uh, talk about some of its objectives, uh, about the textbook uh, and uh, what do we need uh, beside the textbook and the most important thing, the uh, one million uh, question that everybody asks about which is the assessment, the final exam. So I'm going to talk about the final exam from lecture one. So uh, we can cut down the number of questions about the, uh, the assessment and the final exam. So as I said, this is the second reading course. You studied uh, reading one before and you passed it. Now uh, you are facing um, uh, this course. It is called non-fictional prose. That means that you are going to study some uh, uh, academic uh, general English texts, not texts from fiction or, or, or from, from literature. This course is going to help us in different ways. One of these ways, uh, we are going to develop some new strategies um, to help us uh, read in English. One of these strategies, for example, is to read w without knowing every single word. We want to read and comprehend, uh, to understand the whole text uh, without stopping at every single word and then checking our dictionary or asking someone about the meaning of that word. This is one of the strategies. Other strategies is when we meet some keywords, some important words in the in the text, and we need to uh, understand them, we want to guess the meaning of, of of that word from the context, from the sentence itself, without checking the dictionary. Why that will help us in um, uh, becoming fast readers. Uh, we save time, uh, especially in exams. Uh, in exams, we don't have dictionaries. We don't have anyone to consult or, or to ask about uh, the meaning of a single word. So uh, if we um, develop these strategies, uh, I like to call them strategies rather than skills. So if we develop these strategies, we are going to become uh, very good uh, readers. Uh, uh, this course uh, uh, will help us also to uh, to something which, which is called scaffolding learning. Scaffolding learning is like you are building something about something until you reach your goal. You you can um, uh, link information from your background knowledge something that you know, you link it with the textbook that you are studying. For example, if we, we are going to uh, uh, study something about the, the, the American culture, so you know about the American culture from TV, from movies, from uh, going there, from friends, uh, from the internet, uh, and you can link this information f with the information in the book, or you can link uh, our Arabic culture with the American culture, so something uh, which uh, which um, indulge uh, which indulges the background knowledge, our background knowledge with the with the textbook. We are going also to develop critical thinking. Uh, critical thinking is something 
different from the surface thinking. The, surf the surface thinking is something like 1 plus 1 equals 2, but with critical thinking, we need uh, mo something beyond that. We want to uh, understand the information fully and then inference or figure out or guess the, um, the, 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 the deep meaning of the text. So, inshallah, we will be uh, uh, doing all of these throughout the course and uh, hopefully this course will be very beneficial to you. If you, uh, if you pass this course, it will open to you um, other courses and it will help you a lot in your future. Uh, one important thing that I should stress here that now you are in the fourth level uh, in the fourth level of the English program so you are now uh, considered um, maybe at the intermediate level and you are expected to be um, a very professional English student uh, you deal with the, with the course very professionally you deal with it in English and you have to consider yourself that you now you are really an English major student. Why? Because next year you are going to be introduced to more uh, advanced English courses like the theoretical uh, English courses, syntax, morphology, discourse analysis, translation. So uh, now you are at uh, a point that you have to understand that you are now an English major student and you have to deal with with things very professionally and uh, 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 do not say that well uh, I am um, a part-timer uh, I don't have time now you have to have time to study and to focus um, these courses starting from from this level uh, they are going to be um, complicated and without complications you are not going to reach success you have to feel the difficulty of the situation yes it is difficult but without difficulty uh, you are not going to feel the importance of the course but if you study very well understand the lectures understand the uh, the textbook you are going to be fine you are going to see or find this course a very uh, easy course uh, so these are um, a very simple introduction and uh, talking about some of the objectives of the course. As I said, we are going to develop some reading strategies. These are the most important things and we are going to be introduced to these strategies. The textbook that we are going to study is called Mo Mosaic, Mosaic 1. And it's called Reading. And here it says the Middle East uh, Virgin, you can you can find this um, this uh, this book in uh, in Jarir or or uh, Al Abekan. Uh, it is called Mosaic One. Uh, so be careful not to Mosaic One reading. Uh, there are uh, other textbooks uh, called Mosaic One listening uh, writing. No, this is reading Mosaic One reading. And also we are going to need uh, or. Um, I advise you to have a dictionary with this textbook. Why? Because we are going to be introduced to a lot of uh, new vocabulary and I am not going to translate any word to you. I am going to explain in English. Uh, so I, I advise you to get an English to English dictionary. Why? Because this is going to help you to, uh, to improve your English. If you read the definition in English, uh, and understand it very well you will um, you will uh, memorize it very well and you will understand the concept the meaning of the word better than the Arabic one because the Arabic uh, the, the literal Arabic translation sometimes have uh, problems special especially with words that needs uh, harakat for example uh, kulliya and kilia sometimes if you want to search about the meaning of uh, kulliya and you find the word kidney, which means kilia, this is uh, a big problem. So having an English to English dictionary is better. I'm 
telling you from the first lecture. I am not going to translate any word. We are going to read some textbooks and then answer uh, some exercises to uh, to check our comprehension, to check our uh, developed strategies. Uh, if you ask me, do we need the book? Yes, we are going to depend heavily on the textbook. So you need to get the textbook either in uh, in hard copy. You can photocopy the the textbook. It's fine. You can have it. Uh, as uh, an uh, electronic version, as a, a PDF version, doesn't matter. What matters to me that you have the textbook with you. Why? Because it's a reading course. So you do not have a textbook. What are you going to read? You need to have the textbook with you, and you need to have a very good uh, dictionary. If you are, if you ask me about a, uh, a good dictionary. Uh, I would advise you to buy uh, Oxford, for example. Oxford is a, a very good dictionary, uh, the advanced one, uh, because it has examples of the meaning of the words. Uh, if you want to buy uh, electronic dictionaries, that's up to you. But don't ask me about what's the best one, because uh, I really don't know. So I stress that we need the textbook, and you need a dictionary with this course. So if you meet a difficult word, you can check its meaning. But before you check the dictionary, we are going to study some strategies to help us uh, guess the meaning without using the dictionary. If you give up, if you do not find the meaning of the word from the context or using these strategies, then you can uh, consult your dictionary. About the assessment, it's the usual thing uh, from the first semester. 30 for the uh, for uh, the uh, well, what the, uh, what they call the classroom activities like the the homeworks like attending the lectures the life uh, the life sessions and participating in the forums in the in the blackboard so 30 for these and 70 for the final exam it's going to be in the multiple choice multiple choice 70 multiple choice items so I'm telling you from the beginning so please do not ask me about these information I'm not going to answer any question regarding this information because I already did in this lecture so if you want to know the answer consult the uh, orientation lecture and you will find the answer uh, so uh, I wish you all the best and good luck in this course and hopefully uh, we will meet uh, at the end of the semester and uh, you will find yourself very happy with your uh, final mark inshallah if you study very well uh, good luck and thank you